Hey, Planet People. Welcome back to my channel. It's Shanice, and I am bringing you a sticker collection video today. I was asked by Lynette from It's a Planner on Instagram if I could show off my stickers, and so I was very happy to oblige. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So I have my main sticker binders here. If you wanna know how I organize them, that is on another video that I will put somewhere up top or down below, whatever. But yeah, so we're just gonna talk about the stickers today. We're not gonna really talk about organizing them. So let's jump right in. First up, I have a sticker album here. I got this from Crass by Towie back when it was a whole craze about the sticker albums. I no longer use this system, but I did keep this one just for foil. So this is my foil album. In this album, I just have straight foil and I have it in order by the color foil. So up front, I have my gold foiled headers. And then I have my colored gold foil headers. What I mean by that is just that they're different colors, but they have the gold foil on them. So that's how I like to separate them. I have the ones that are straight gold, and then I have the ones that have some type of color to them. I really need to look in here more often though, because I forget that I have things that I can pull in. Because for the most part, when I order kits, I order glitter headers or the headers that come with the kit. So I don't really need to pull in, but yeah, anyway. So then I have my gold header overlays. And then I have my gold foiled full box overlays, bottom washi overlays. And then it goes into like my dividers and decorations. And then I have my gold foiled boxes and then gold foiled deco. And then it just starts over. So then I have it in silver. Rose gold. Hollow. I don't know why this one's empty. Let me see. I guess I don't have any like rose gold deco. Okay, and then um, hollow. Those are pretty. Ooh. I do not dig into this this um, binder that often, but I really need to do it. And then after I go, get through the top four or the main four foils, I then have mixed foils. So they're just like random colors. So I have some teal, gold glitter, copper, more teal, green, black glitter, silver glitter, purple glitter, some hollow stuff, and then I don't know what this is. Hmm. Does it look like, is it pink? I don't know what that is, but yeah. So that is my random color foil headers. Then I go into my wiggles from SPC. So I have like pink, and it's not just SPC, but for the most part, it's SPC Wiggles, but then I also add in other shops that might have like a, a color that matches. So like for this pink, it was the pink wiggle from SPC, but then I also just added in some Artbot sticker pinks and things like that. So I just try to keep it together so that I know like, hey, here's all the pink foil that you may need if you wanna pull it together. You know what I mean? So I have, in my mind, it makes sense. <laughs> okay, and then like some purple there, ivory. This is like gold hollow. This is like a matte gold. And then we got like, 
SPC Advent. Oh, this is cute. Ooh. This is pretty. I love this. But yes, yeah, so that is my foiled sticker album. I really need to dig into this more often because there's some goodies in there, right? <laughs> Next, I have this sticker album from Simply Gilded. This was in her November sub box, and it was like a, a sticker contraption. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's really cute. But I wasn't using it until one night. I just was like, you know what? I really want to get rid of a sticker binder that I had. And so what I'm using this one for is for like my hobo slash PP week style kits. So... Any of my little smaller kits go in here. The ones that would go into my PP Weeks. And so also I have my Simply Gilded subscription sticker stickers in here just because I don't really grab these for my regular planner, but you know, place to store them. And so just a whole lot of random stickers, even hobo style kits because I do sometimes do hobo styled planning in my PP weeks. These are just like extra full boxes that I put in there. But yes, so this is really cute. I really like that I went ahead and utilized this because it's smaller than my other one and it's cute. These binders are from Target. I haven't seen them lately, but I have a vinyl from Charmed and Poised on here. These vinyls are in her shop, but you can use my code Shanice20 to save. And I just labeled each one to just distinguish which one I was grabbing for. In here, I have all of my functional stickers. I went ahead and zoomed y'all out a little bit so I could show you more so in frame. Okay. So this is my functional binder. It has like all boxes and things like that. So as you know, I do have my foiled album, but even though a lot of this stuff might have foil on it, it just makes more sense for me to put it in its functional spot. Up front, I have all of my Chic Street Sticker Boutique boxes or sticky notes. And these are like my favorite for when I don't have enough boxes in my sticker kits. So I always go to these. These are my go-to if I am needing to add a box, an extra box into my spread. I love these so much. Yeah, these are so cute. I loved when she came out with this set of um, watercolor post-it notes or sticky notes that was like amazing. And then here, I just have some random ones. They have foil on there, but they're not like these. So I just put them in there. But um, these were, these I bought. These two, I mean, I bought all of it. <laughs> but these two were um, misfits. So there's that. Then I have some other functional. These are clouds, but they're, I consider them boxes. So these are from Ruby Trev. I have some from Pookie Bear Cuties. And is that it? Yeah, Ruby Trev and Pookie Bear Cuties. Cuties. <laughs> Cuties. I need to utilize those more because I haven't. Um, these are just random post-its. And just like, what's this called? A bow clip box from Fox and Pip. Stick with me shop. We'll have boxes here from Bubba, Bubba Bear Studios and uh, more boxes. <laughs> so, all boxes. Then I have my Clever Gal Crafts items. So, I don't have a big collection from her. I've ordered from her during her shorty sales, and I think I might have ordered before just regular price, but her stuff is just so nice and it's just so much i can't really get myself to just go all out with it because it's just so much to choose from just like rose color days like she has amazing stuff but it's so many different foils like i can't 
even grasp how much foil it is. So it's hard for me to really shop. And so that goes for um, Clever Gal Crafts for me because I just feel like it's just so much. But <laughs> I do have a few things and I just organized it by foil color. So I have the flags and the bows and gold foil and the hearts and gold foil. And then I went into my silver flags. I don't have any silver um, parts or anything like that, but I left space for the day that I do get some. And then I have some silver decos, rose gold, and basically, like I said, I keep them blank just so that one day, if I ever do get some, I could just pull it in. Then I have some habit trackers from Lexi Kylie Designs. These are so cute, y'all. <sighs> y'all know I love me some Lexi Kylie. And I haven't even used them yet, but I just have them. And then these were from, who were these from? I think these are from The Giving Girl, but in order for me to fit some things into these binders, I do have to cut them down. And so when I cut them down, I cut like the logo off that be on people's sticker pages. So yeah. And then some Magic Pricks Co. foiled ones. And because I have a designated spot for habit trackers, it just made sense for me to put the foiled ones in there too, just so it's easier for me to get to because I'm not gonna go into my full foiled album just to find a habit tracker. You know what I mean? In my mind, it makes sense. <laughs> and then I have my date covers here in order of foil, gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, or any other type of like hollow-ish date cover, plain, and then these printed ones. These are cute and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to pull this in. This is like a mixture of animal print and stuff because I kept it together just because they go together. I have these date covers from Sadie Stickers in the leopard, I think. And then I also got it in tiger print and zebra print. These were cute, y'all. And so then I had some sticker bloom ones. These were from her advent. And so, I just keep them together because it just makes sense. I need to put this up front. Like I need to be, I need to see this. So <laughs> I be forgetting I be having stuff. Okay. And then I have my date dots. I just have every color foil date dot in there. And then I have my monthly stickers here, which I don't use. I thought I was gonna use them. I haven't even put the month in any of my spreads yet. Then I have just some random tabs some strips here from SPC. Thought I would use these more, but haven't. Some extender boxes. I used to do my monthlies functionally or financially. So all my monthlies were all about bills, but now that I do my monthlies as highlights, I don't really use these anymore. But um, you never know when you might go back to something. So I'm definitely keeping that. These were from the Hummingbird Planner. And they just were little icons for your bills. And it just made, it just made everything look so cute when I used to do it in my planner. But yeah. So like I said, I don't do that anymore. But this section right here was for my monthlies when that's what I was doing. And so like I have the hello months here and then these boxes is what I use to put the tabs or the deco on there. And so just got a lot of different boxes there. I need to start utilizing those more. And so then in the back, I have some more pages and then I have this folder here which I use for when I get happy mail and I don't want to put it up yet or I'm trying to get ready to do a haul. I just put everything in here and just wait until I'm ready to really put it up and organize it. So that was my functional binder. 
Next, I have my character binder. This vinyl is from Sheet Street Sticker Boutique. I got it as a freebie when she was just testing out vinyl, so that was cute. And I have this binder. This is my baby, y'all. I love her so much. So she's labeled, so yeah. I love this binder. This is everything to me. So I have work up front and I just have all my work stickers. So I have my scripts. This is schedules, day offs, computers, um, moves for working. So like Monday is Tuesday, Monday sucks, alarm clocks, wake up early, rise and grind some more working icons i need to use these i need to pull this up front so yes yeah, so that is how i organize it so basically i make a category i.e. work and then I just figure out what I want my subsections to be and it's easy for me to find them. I messed up a sticker here. I'm gonna just stick her right there. So I have laptops. I'm not gonna go through everything but I rarely use these. These were from um, Oops Bags. I love Oops Bags because you get to try out different stickers and sometimes you get lucky and get really good things. Okay, so that was my work section. And then I have phone and shopping. So when I felt like I wanted a meeting section, I, I basically, it, to me, this makes sense. It goes from work to like meeting, to paydays, to spending money type things. Then I have still spending money, <laughs> groceries, Target run. These are just grocery shopping. Okay, these. This is my order groceries and pick up groceries, like online ordering and then Target. And then when I actually go to the store, and this is like specific buy wipes and diapers. Those are cute. Then I have bills and chores. So general bills here, cars, car maintenance and gas, trash, dishes, laundry, clean the bathroom. Then this is also me time. So it went from chores into me time, but you know, it all goes together. You know what I mean? I rarely use these stickers here. Oh, these are cute. I don't take a bath, I guess. <laughs> I'm more of a shower girl, but. Super cute, super, super, super cute. And then we have more me time stuff, eyebrow appointments, nail appointments. I got my sick doctor appointments, sick time or sick days, date nights or me and him stickers, sleep, nap time. We have emotions here and still emotions and family time. These are super cute y'all, I gotta show y'all these. These are angries. How cute is that? I need to be angry some more so I can use these stickers. <sighs> okay. And then still like technically family. Got mom, best friend, sister time, grandparents. And then this is like activities. 
for the kids. Those are kind of small. I might need to give those away. Desash those. They're pretty small. Okay, so this is my babies, y'all. These these stickers right here for my babies. You know what? I'm gonna destash these soon because these are like when your baby's first born. So like first bath, home from hospital, first smile. Like I didn't document none of that. So really, I'm not needing these anymore. So I'm probably gonna de-stash these. But look how cute these are. These babies. Remind me of my nene. I had got these poop stickers, y'all. I don't even use these poop stickers. I'm gonna de-stash these. I do not need these poop stickers, do I? All these poop stickers ain't use not one poop sticker. I'm gonna need these soon. Baby gotta start potty training. Okay, so this is what I was trying to get to. These giraffes I used to mark for any time my firstborn used to do stuff. So I had these for a long time, at least four years. And um, so whenever she would do something, she was my little giraffe. And so I would just mark that. I didn't get these. Look, I'm not using baby bottles no more. Okay, so, well, this is good. I'm de-stashing stuff as I, I should have went through all of these and de-stashed. <laughs> okay. Let's see, daycare. Red paint, Little Red Prince does not carry these anymore, and I'm so sad. She had preschool ones, and those came in so much handy. I loved them. But she don't carry that one anymore, so. And then a whole bunch of school stickers here for Joy. Okay, moving on to food. Let's see what's in here. Oh, these are cute. Be some OG simply watercolor cup. Oh, Game of Thrones. I miss it. This is all me down here. I need to start using this. Mother of Dragons, Dracaris. Dragon or dro Drogon? Oh, it just says dragon. Y'all, I'm trying to make up a, a accent or something. Tigerian, Khaleesi, Call. Oh, I miss them so much. Khaleesi, you deserved better. I need to figure out what I can use them for. And then um, this section right here is uh, something that happened. What is this? This is supposed to be something. Oh, this was no sodas. Yeah. So, okay, this was like my tracking. Well, that wasn't tracking, but this had my tracking um, habit tracker stuff on there. So I used to have no sodas. I did so good last year. I drank one soda all last year. And so um, that was January 1st. So I went past January 1st this year, 2020. So I made it a whole year of not drinking one soda. And I was so proud of myself, y'all. But anyway, so I used to track that. And I'm supposed to be tracking water. Don't do that. And I'm tracking no dang kits like Viv. And that's cute. So now I have a happy mail social media section. All of that good stuff. Then I have a sports section. This is a sports, but you might as well call it sports because moving works out. 
So I just have like little game days, game things here, football here, these, this is everything to me. And then workout, moving. Then it's a vacation, holiday, celebration section. So this is like traveling. This is birthday. This is like the holiday scripts. And then this is like Christmas stuff. And then back here, I have movies. I don't know why this is here. It's just a random <laughs> section. Like it is, it has no like categories, just random. So it's just there. I should put these back here, but I'm not. But this is like movies down here. And then this is peekaboos. So all of my peekaboo people go back there. How cute is that? And then back here is just random stickers. And then this was the Holy Grail. I used to track my TV, y'all. So now I don't track my TV like that. I still use them when I can, but I used to track TV every single day. So whenever something would come on, I would make sure to have it in my spread. But now that I don't have cable, I just catch it when I catch it. So I'm just marking them as I watch. But these are from the sticker party. So if you ever just want to start marking your stuff, she do this once a month. It's one Thursday out of the month, and I think it's like every three months. She is is not, you have to catch her when you catch her, is what I'm trying to say. So, whenever she does this, I used to just be on it and make sure I always got my stickers in, sticker order in, and then she also takes customs like before that Thursday comes up, she says, does anybody have any other requests? And then you go put your request in and then she'll make it for you so that when the day comes, you could just go and add it to your cart. So I still love those a lot. I just don't have, to, I'm just not buying anymore. So that is my character binder. All right, so last but not least, I have my two sticker kit binders. So last year I organized all of my kits so that I was able to see where I was at with kits and weeks and I had a full year's worth of kits. So I had came to the conclusion that I was not going to do any kit spending this year, even though I have bought one either one or two, I'm not quite sure, but I know for a fact I bought one from Birch and Birdie. But anywho, these are my kit binders and they are just organized by weeks. And so I just love this system. I printed out these labels here. Let me see if I can pick it up for you. I don't feel like zooming in. But I printed those labels out with the weeks and just went through and organized all the kits. So this is from March to actually October. I guess I had already moved everything over. So I'm just gonna flip really quickly and you all can see. So right here on the back I have the April monthly. So this week we'll be doing the last days of March into April and so that's why I put the monthly kit on the back there. So I just remind myself that I have a kit for that. And it's just super cute. So this is also good for me because I'm able to know where I want a certain kit to go. So like for Father's Day, I have this kit here. I mean, it's not really Father's Day-ish, but you know, I chose it for that. And then this is Glamazon week. So I went ahead and put a kit in there for that. This is my baby's birthday week. And so it's just so much easier just to see what you got when you can organize it by week to me. And so 
that is the first binder. And then last but not least, this is my More Kits binder. This holds the remainder of the year and any extra kits. So if I do not know where I want something to go, it will just go back here. And so these are just all of the extra kits that I have. Some of them are doubled up. So just if I ever just feel like I don't like something that's already scheduled, I can just come back here and decide if I want to switch it out or not. I can actually move this. I don't know why that's just sitting in the back. I think I had an empty slot up here. I did. All right, so last but not least, I forgot all about my Happy Planner stickers, y'all. So I have this little like container thing that I got from Target. It's just clear and it holds my sticker books. So these are the sticker books that I have. I have a few of the little sticker pads, the black and white, Glam Girl, Stargazer, and then I have two, four, six, eight. I have nine sticker books, so I'm I'm not bad at all, y'all. So we have Glam Girl, Dates and Holidays, which I wish I would have found this a long time ago because I wasted money on dates. Flowers, party. So I'm a sticker kit girl or Etsy shop girl, colorful boxes. So I don't really buy a lot of Happy Planner sticker books, but if it's just amazing, like color story is amazing, then I have to get it, even though I don't catch myself really using them. So that's why I like doing my monthly highlight spreads now because I do pull them in a little more. This is super old. This is back in the day sticker book. And this one too. So yes, yeah, so those are all of my stickers, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of just like, I don't know if you, feel, if you felt like it was rushed or not, but, you know, I didn't want to go through each sleeve. That would take, like, all day. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked seeing just what my collection consists of. I don't feel like I'm too far in the hole. And I just need to just really start shopping my stash. Because I have a lot of good stuff that I really forget about all the time. And so, yeah. Just let me know down below if you liked my sticker collection if you had any questions about any of the stickers just let me know i'll be glad to tell you where i got them from if i can remember as long as the name is at the top and i didn't cut it off i can tell you where something's from if it's not on there girl mm, it's gonna be a hard one but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you come back to see some more great videos for me if you want to see some more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.